Hello everybody, uh, welcome to FO Golf channel. This episode we're going to finish on lagging and today we're going to talk about the do's, what you need to do to work on your lag and the areas that you need to focus on. So before we start, um, let's just talk about the joints, what I call the lag joints. You have five lag joints, okay? So I'm gonna point it out for you. Your left shoulder, your left wrist, right shoulder, right elbow, right wrist, okay? Those are five what I call the lag joints, okay? Um, when you're lagging, those joints is going to give you that sort of loose leather feeling, okay? Um, the best way to explain leathery is that if I give you two whips right now, one is made of silk and one is obviously made of leather. Um, I do believe you would choose the whip that's made of leather because it will give you a little bit more destructive power. Well, not just a little bit more, I believe a lot more. The silk, probably not so much. It's because the quality and the structure so the idea is that your arms right now there's got to be a, some kind of proper pressure that both your lead arm your left arm and your trail arm has got to have some kind of structure but now you cannot have a lot of means if you have a lot of pressure it becomes tension it becomes a lot of unnecessary strength and that's going to take away your lag okay so um, there's two exercises you can do. So I'm gonna show you first with my left arm and doing the lagging, right? Now understanding you have to be already loading your body correctly because your arms are not supposed to give you any type of force or power. They're just following your body. So in this first drill I'm gonna show you is my left arm. You can see right now I'm going to turn my hips and turn my body. My arms are gonna follow my body and I'm gonna turn to here the truth is I did not move my arms but on the downswing this arms are stationary my left arm is stationary watch if I shift and turn my left arm is it's dragged by my body rotation so it was lagging behind me now if I do this movement As you can see, this time my left arm didn't lag behind my body. So I'm going to do the correct, one, correct movement again. Okay, that was the lagging of my left arm, my lead arm. Because this shoulder, this wrist right here, there's a sense of pulling and there's a sense of flow. Okay, all right. Now, oh, well, I missed something. Why are you doing that? Which, after this episode, we're going to talk about release, okay? And why are you lagging it? Your left arm, it is rotating. All right, so now we're going to go to my right arm, okay? So when you get to the top, you're loading your body, Remember, this bending of this right arm, it's not, pos it's not purposeful, it's positioning, okay? You don't purposely do this. You don't purposely engage your bicep and your tricep and your shoulders to create this position. It's purely positional based on rotation. So on the downswing, my right shoulder, my right elbow, my right wrist is going to lag behind okay so I'm gonna do it one more time now when you see that dropping motion I did not do that purposely I did not drop my right elbow it was because my body rotation this club is lagging behind me okay now a lot of times when you on TV you see a lot of tour play they do this drill okay Okay, well actually I'm shooting this way so you can see the ball. 
It looks really good, doesn't it? But the truth is, that is the worst thing you can do to work on your leg or really work on your right arm. Because your right arm is not doing that when you're actually swinging, when you have two hands on. Your right arm is doing this actually. So I'm going to show you. Okay. That was the lagging motion of the right arm. And I actually struck the ball with a release. So I'm going to show you side view. This is what it looks like. Okay. That was the correct movement. If you're doing this, if you're working on right arm draw like this, that's simply incorrect. You're just hitting the ball. When you're lagging, there's no hitting, but rather body motion. One, two, three. Okay, you have to feel your body motion. All right? So, you can do this exercise for your right arm. I call it snake or leathery feeling. Grip the club like where your right hand is going to be, okay? Not a lot of pressure, but make sure the club, the grip is not moving in your hands, okay? And then you can do this. Remember, joint here, 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 they have to stay loose, but they cannot be very loose, noodle like this. Okay, there's got to be structure. Watch this. I'm going to move my body first. So you notice my arms are moving, but remember, they're not moving on their own. They're moving involuntarily because my arms absorbing the energy in my body that's producing. Okay? So what is this? Now I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and do the, my entire arm. Okay? Now while I'm doing that, the club cannot move in your hands. Okay? If you're moving like this, I'm going to show you. If you're doing this where your grip's coming out, then you're doing this drill incorrectly or this exercise incorrectly. The hands, you're holding the club softly, but not overly soft. There's got to be structure. Okay, that's how you lag the club with your right arm. You can see my wrist. My right elbow and my shoulder on the right side, they're very loose, but I'm still holding the club. All right? I'm controlling the motion with my body. All right? This is very difficult in the beginning. So what happens right now, you can see if I do this, that's not a lagging motion. If I do this, I'm going to do a 45 degree. That's a lagging motion, even though I did not stroke the ball that well, but that was the correct movement. You saw me hit the ball, you know, a minute ago with my right arm. All right? So, let's recap. Five lag joints. One, two, three, four, five. They have to stay loose. Okay? You cannot have a lot of tension in your arms and your shoulders. All right, so on the next episode, I'm actually going to do what I call the leading or transitional episode from lagging to release. All right, so um, thank you for watching. Please click like and share and subscribe to our channel. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave a comment, email me. All right, so um, thank you.